Hello everybody, I'm Evo Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa looking at a awesome GTR GT3 race car, but an even more awesome FSR wheel. We're here on Tale of the Dragon, 318 turns and 11 miles. Recently I did see a video about somebody, the king of the dragon. So we're going to be running a bunch of cars here on the dragon, see what our lap times can be and comparing them all. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which are found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So we're going to go full send here and try not to die. We're on the it was R9 base with the FSR wheel. Our lap time is going to start as soon as we cross these cones. And now our lap timer has started. I forgot that's a really sharp turn. Traction control is definitely kicking into play right now. Little lock up there. Gonna try and tackle this without crashing. Because we crash, it's considered a DNF for the car. I feel like the more I do this, the more I will get faster because I still don't know these roads by the back of my hand yet we're utilizing the entire road you know because it's blocked off for us but specifically to run this I figured this was the best time to bring out this FSR wheel in a GT3 car it's really hard to catch apexes in this course trying to manage these bumps these bumps are definitely quite rough in this car I can feel it's bottoming out a lot three hundred and eighteen turns eleven miles I've driven this road in my real car before and it's definitely a fun course but was not going anywhere near as fast as this because having to stay between the mayo and the mustard the white and the yellow in real life Ooh, a little bit of slippy there Ooh, I feel the back end coming around a little bit on me there trying to get as fast as lap time as we can and we're gonna compare a bunch of different cars here bit of a king of the dragon series if you would like I said I'll leave the link down in the comment section down below and if you guys want to uh, try this challenge yourself and leave your lap times either tag me on Instagram or whatnot leave your lap times with a picture of the car and the lap time yourself see where you stack up I feel the more I do this, the faster I'm going to get with a bunch of these cars. So we may have to revisit some of these earlier cars. Once I become more familiar with the road. This is such a hard uh, course to memorize everything. It's like driving Norschleifen ringing, knowing every single turn in Norschleifen. <laughs> A lot of first gear in this car. Ooh, don't die. It was a little bit of a tire drop there. Got a lot of dirt on my front windshield. My pit crew did not clean my window at all for me. That was almost a death. Locked up the fronts, so I felt that. Guys, got such stiff force feedback right now. Probably could have taken that a little faster. It'd be great to have almost a co-driver with pace notes. Ooh, 
gets squirrely over bumps under braking. It's probably not the best car to be bringing out here, these GT3 cars. And probably not meant to go through super bumpy courses, but you know what? We're having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> I'm putting this R9 through its paces right now. Ooh, little dirt drop. Probably would have told. Oh, and there's our first off. Are we stuck? Ah, oh, we <laughs> definitely gonna affect our lap time. So this is going to be our lap time times one for one off. Wasn't a definitely a big off though. Luckily we did not get stuck and totally ruin this whole whole run. We should be getting close to the end. We're at the five five thirty mark. I went down the neutral. I thought I was in second. Five thirty mark right now. I like it when we're in the shade. I don't get that dirt glare on my windshield. It's a hard break. Oh, bottom out the car there. Jeez, oh man. Horse feedback extremely tough right now. I'm not sure when the actual lap time stops, so. We're gonna have to go until the lap timer does stop. I believe there's a cone marker for an end of a lap time. A lot of first gears to this tight, twisty section. Definitely not as fast as I believe that's the end of the lap. Yep. A 6.36, 6.55 is our official lap time for this GTR. Definitely uh, a lot of force feedback involved. So if you guys want to see more or you guys have cars, you want to see Attack the Dragon and the King of the Dragon, let me know down in the comment section down below. Leave me a link or a specific car and where I can get it. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. Big thanks to Moza Racing, of course, for the FSR and the R9 that we are running. So FRS, FSR. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that you found in the description box below. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.